Hello and welcome to the Executive Interview Studio at the World Healthcare Congress 2012. We travel across to India now with Dr. Ashwin Naik, who founded the Vasalia Healthcare Organization in India about seven years ago. That's right. Dr. Naik, tell me about some of the unique health challenges that you have in the rural areas where you work in India. Right. <clears throat> There are a uh, uh, few things which are very different from uh, the U.S. model of healthcare. One is uh, the private healthcare industry is about 25 years old, and it's primarily focused on the large towns. So the smaller towns and villages have very little access. The second big difference is 95% of the population does not have access to insurance, which means that they pay out of pocket, and it's a big challenge because you know not many people can afford private healthcare. So we looked at this problem uh, seven years ago and said, how can we create a system uh, which essentially addresses the challenge of not having access to a hospital in smaller towns and the problem of not being able to pay through an insurance uh, program. So we started off with setting up small hospitals in smaller towns, uh, focusing on four major specialties, uh, which is uh, uh, gynecology, pediatrics, general surgery, and internal medicine. And uh, around it, we build partnerships with government, with uh, private organizations, with NGOs who provide the insurance backup for us. So over the last seven years, we have been able to move from less than 5% insurance to today about 16% insurance. What it means is people who are not able to access private health care uh, can now begin to help, uh, uh, access those. Plus, we have the facility to provide the service when they need. Mm -hmm. And have you been finding that the health conditions in these areas where you have your hospitals has mm -hmm. improved dramatically? Well, uh, the, the problem is much larger than one company or one yes. hospital can solve. But we do see that people who used to travel more than 40, 50 kilometers to access uh, services are now beginning to come to us. So there is a reduction in the amount of time and money they spend to go to the big town. But we don't believe that we have made a significant impact that, you know, the entire health problem has been taken care of. And what would that entail? I mean, you have made an impact, maybe right. in your eyes not a significant right. one, but what else needs to happen before we would see more of an improvement? Right. So there is, uh, there is still a large uh, affordability gap. I would say, you know, we have to go from 15 percent to at least 60 percent of the population has to have some kind of insurance. The second is we already have a huge uh, human resource gap. There are not enough doctors, there are not enough nurses, there are not enough trained technicians. And uh, that's, a, that's a problem that cannot be solved overnight. So that's going to take an investment over the next five, ten years where we create enough doctors, enough nurses. And then more hospitals like ours will come in. And then hopefully some of these issues can be uh, solved. Mm -hmm. Do you see that other companies are coming in also and establishing clinics and hospitals uh, following the example that Vatsalia yes, has put yes. before them? Yes. When we started off, we were the first one and we are the largest in the country. But over the last two years, we have seen uh, six new companies start with similar models, but in different geographies. The country is large, so there is opportunity for people to come up in different parts of the country. You have four specialties that you've focused on. Any right. uh, plans to move maybe more towards uh, specialized surgeries or other specialties? One of the things that we have noticed is, uh, you know, we, our focus was on these four uh, specialties, but over the last three years we are seeing that there's a large number of patients who are coming with chronic conditions. So we are now thinking about moving into diabetes, chronic care, and things which are uh, more lifestyle related rather than uh, acute conditions. Is yes. there um, a move towards more wellness education uh, such as we've seen in the United States or right. are you still focusing more on the foundation of, of healthcare there? We are focusing on the foundation but at the same time we also spend a lot of uh, time and effort in creating a lot of awareness about health related uh, issues. So we have a team which goes out and engages people proactively tells them about health conditions. But that's a very small piece of what we do. Right, okay. Yeah. Dr. Naik, thank you for thank stopping you. by. Sure, thank you. You're watching World Healthcare Congress 2012 coverage. Thanks for watching.